Due to the graphic nature of the content in this video, viewer discretion is advised. Hello folks, this is the Gamer Nerd, and today we're going to be playing a Sherlock Holmes game today. Apparently this is valid until February 1st of 2009 at 9.33 a.m. So, I'm gonna play as much as I can until that time. So, wish me luck. Okay. And here we go. Here we have new game, options, and load. Right, subtitles are on. Nice help file. Okay. Let's begin a new game. In memory of the Ukrainian heavenly, heavenly hundred. So cool. All right. This should be interesting. Let's see what's, what's going on. Holmes, will you stop that? Let's see. You are utterly mad. Stop, Holmes! Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years, and where he was found dead yesterday. 
Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The many men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I should help Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. All right. So press square to open your casebook. Then check your current progress and the task evidence, etc. Okay. Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, born in 1845 and so 50 years old. He achieved great success in whale hunting in Scandinavia. Retired in 1884, eventually moving to Woodman's Lee. Okay then. Should help out a bit. Let's see what else we got. Oh wait, what did I miss? Ooh, a map. Currently on Baker Street and we need to go to Woodman's Lee. So, and the task is we need to investigate the murder of Peter Carey and investigate the crime scene at Woodman's Lee. Select a seat to wear using your personal wardrobe and join Lestrade at Woodman's Lee. Okay. Should be interesting then. A map of London and the surrounding area. It could be useful. Oop, wrong door. Holmes' his wardrobe. Judging by the case we're going to take on, I'd say... Oh, the sailor app, it's locked, so... A black suit then? Yes. Let's go to the makeup table. That would be fancy. No need for glasses, but what about facial hair? No need. So then we should be good. This is where I keep my post. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. All right, let's go to Woodman's Lee. Well, read as far as case reading goes. Hmm. 
Miss Jones has got a very nice taste for it. Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. These footprints appear to be quite large. Indeed they do. It seems that the garden was well maintained. some more examination. Right, I already did the whole footprint print thing. The garden was well kept. Any other evidence out of the con out of the ordinary? Unusual. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Hmm. Anything unusual that night? Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible yeah, temper. Usually whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh dear. Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. He lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. The garden is very large and well maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Let's see. Cameo. Gardening gloves. Catholic Rosary Oh, 
on a birdhouse. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he? When you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? Never mind. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he? When you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? Let's draw the evidence. Let's draw the evidence. You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Thank you, madam. Anyhow, now that we've got the evidence needed to, needed for us to testify in court, unless I'm thinking about another game, like the Phoenix Wright, for instance. Oh, right. Let's look at Detective Vision for a minute. Let's see if we can find a pair of boots that match these footprints. Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch anything. The I'm door talking. is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. Hmm. Alright. Let's use our detective vision. These scratches are fresh. You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Our mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my lord! What a terrible way to die. This 
This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book. A box or a small chest, perhaps. Hmm. The tooth of a sperm whale. Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Indeed. What else could be here? Peter Carey's boots. They look to be a size eight. Old navigation instruments, nothing interesting. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Indeed it was. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. Ooh. All right, let's see what we got here. Hmm. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. J.H.N. are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Let's see what else we got there. Do we have anything else on the notebook we need to examine? No? Now I guess we need to open it. These abbreviations mean something. But what? <laughs> this blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Indeed. This wooden handle is plain and solid. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. This man is in his fifties, yet he still looks quite strong. Indeed he is. Peter Indeed. Carey was impaled to the wall by a whaling harpoon. Hmm. All right. Breaking the tins. No gardener. Draw a clear picture of the crime by forming a deduction from a combination of clues. Track down the guilty party. An ambush must be made tonight. To see if the break in attempt will be repeated. Someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Indeed. 
Someone drank from this glass recently. Let's look at this tobacco patch. The initials PC have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. Let's open the flap. Hmm. This aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. I'll be honest, this puzzle took me a good seven minutes to try and figure out how to get things put in place. Actually, it probably took a little over ten minutes. But I've helpfully sped the process up a little bit so you guys won't have to sit through ten whole minutes of me playing with the the little pirate ship puzzle for hours and hours and hours and hours on end all you need to know is that when Holmes found a tobacco pipe he noticed a familiar smell but in order to recognize it he must consider his associations and construct them into one big old picture This may take a while. And it indeed took a while. About 10 minutes or so to solve, so to speak. And with that figured out and the, everything and put in place, we can find out just what the tobacco was used for. And it might actually help Holmes's case, who knows? That's for me to know, and you all to find out sooner or later. And with that, we're coming up on the end of this part of the video, so stay tuned. I'll be back with more commentary on this game in a moment. So, thank you for listening to this video, and I'll see you soon. This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. All right. Rum, a sailor's drink. It seemed that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. Hmm. Let's see. What else can be examined before you organize our ambush? The Sea Unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. The murder weapon was probably taken from this rack. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Hmm. Indeed. Let's see if I can get our detective's intuition working. Ah.
All right, now that I think we've got everything we've got, we've been able to get so far. Looks like we'll need to organize an ambush. I must admit something here. Dundee. Hammerfest. It's a whaling map. Indeed, we got our our sales a whaling map. Well, Mr. Holmes, what do you think? Now, I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof. You've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. Indeed we do, gentlemen. Okay. I think I'm going to leave this episode here, because it may be our only episode. So, with that said, this is the Gamer Nerd, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>